The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation, translated in red by Sam Gerrans. Said he, Said I not to thee that thou canst not be patient with me? He said, If I ask thee about anything after this, then keep thou not company with me. Thou hast attained from me an excuse. So they set out. When they had come to the people of a city, they asked its people for food, but they refused them hospitality, and they found therein a wall upon the point of collapse, and he set it upright. He said, If thou hadst wished, thou couldst have taken recompense for it. Said he, This is the parting between me and thee. I will inform thee of the interpretation of that thou hast not borne with patience. As for the boat, it belonged to poor people working on the sea, and I wished to mar it, for there was behind them a king taking every boat by force. And as for the lad, his parents were believers, and we feared he would burden them with inordinacy and denial. And we intended that their Lord should give them in exchange better than him in purity and nearer in mercy. And as for the wall, it belonged to two fatherless lads in the town, and there was beneath it a treasure for them, and their father was righteous. And thy Lord willed that they should reach maturity, and to bring forth their treasure as a mercy from thy Lord. And I did it not by my command. That is the interpretation of what thou hast not been patient in. And they ask thee about Thulkarnain. Say thou, I will recite to you a remembrance of him. We established him in the land and gave him to everything a way, so he went his way. When he had reached the departure of the sun, he found it departing in a murky spring, and found a people nearby. We said, O Dhul Karnain, thou shalt either punish or take concerning them good. He said, As for him who does wrong, we will punish him. Then will he be brought back to his Lord, who will punish him with a detestable punishment. And as for him who believes and works righteousness, for him good is the reward, and we will speak lightly to him from our command. Then he went his way. When he had reached the appearance of the sun, he found it appearing over a people for whom we had appointed no cover besides it. Thus, and we have encompassed what is with it in knowledge. Then he went his way. When he had reached between the two barriers and found besides them a people scarce understanding speech, they said, O Dhulkarnain, Yajuj and Majuj are workers of corruption in the land. So may we appoint for thee due payment, on condition that thou make between us and them a barrier? He said, That wherein my Lord has established me is better. But assist me with strength, I will make between you and them a dam. Bring me pieces of iron. When he had made level between the two openings, he said, Blow. When he had made it a fire, he said, Bring me to pour thereon molten brass. Then they could not climb over it, and they could not dig through it. He said, This is a mercy from my Lord. But when the promise of my Lord comes to pass, he will make it dust, and the promise of my Lord is true. And we will leave them that day to surge one upon another, when the trumpet is blown, and we gather them as an assembly. And we will lay hell bare to those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, those whose eyes were under a covering from my remembrance, and who were unable to hear. Did those who are indifferent to warning think that they could take my servants as allies instead of me? We have prepared hell for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue as a welcoming gift. Say thou, shall we inform you of those most in loss in deeds? 
those whose effort is astray in the life of this world, when they think that they do well indeed, these are they who deny the proofs of their Lord, and the meeting with him, their works are vain. And we assign to them on the day of resurrection no weight. That is their reward, hell, because they denied and made mockery of our proofs and our messengers. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they have the gardens of paradise as a welcoming gift, they abiding eternally therein. They desire not from it any change of place. Say thou, were the sea ink for the words of my Lord, the sea would run dry before the words of my Lord ran dry, though we brought the like thereof in addition. Say thou, I am but a mortal like you. I am instructed that your God is but one God. And whoso looks to the meeting with his Lord, let him do deeds of righteousness, and ascribe not a partnership in the service of his Lord to anyone. Chapter 19 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Kaf ha ya ain sad. A remembrance of the mercy of thy Lord towards his servant Zachariah. When he cried out to his Lord with a secret cry, he said, My Lord, feeble are become the bones within me, and my head is aflame with white hair, and I have not been unhappy in my call to thee, my Lord, but I fear my heirs after me, and my wife is barren. So give thou me from thyself an ally to inherit from me and to inherit from the house of Yaqub, and make thou him, my lord, pleasing. O Zachariah, we bring thee glad tidings of a lad whose name is Yahya. We have not made one named like him before. He said, my Lord, how can I have a lad when my wife is barren, and I have reached extreme old age? Said he, Thus did thy Lord say, It is easy for me, and I created thee before when thou wast not anything. He said, My Lord, make thou for me a proof. Said he, Thy proof is that thou shalt not speak to men three nights, being sound. And he went out to his people from the sanctuary and instructed them to give glory morning and night. O Yahya, hold thou fast the law. And we gave him judgment when a child and tenderness from ourselves and purity. And he was in prudent fear and dutiful towards his parents. And he was not a tyrant, defiant. And peace be unto him the day he was born, and the day he dies, and the day he is raised up alive. And remember thou in the law, Mariam, when she withdrew from her people to a place in the east, and separated herself from them. And we sent to her our spirit, and it appeared to her as a sound mortal. She said, I seek refuge in the Almighty from thee, if thou be in prudent fear. He said, I am but a messenger of thy Lord, that I might give thee a pure lad. She said, How can there be for me a lad when a mortal has not touched me, nor have I been unchaste? He said, Thus said thy Lord, It is easy for me. Both that we might make him a proof for mankind, and as a mercy from us, and it was a matter ordained. So she bore him, and she withdrew with him to a distant place, and the contractions took her to the trunk of a date palm. She said, Would that I had died before this, and been forgotten past remembrance. Then there cried to her from below her, Grieve thou not, my Lord has placed beneath thee a stream, and shake thou towards thee the trunk of the date palm. It will drop upon thee fresh dates, ripe. Eat thou and drink thou, and let thine eye be gladdened. And if thou see any mortal, say thou, I have vowed to the Almighty a fast, and shall not speak this day to any man. 
and she brought him to her people, bearing him. They said, O Maryam, thou hast done something unprecedented. O sister of Harun, thy father was not an evil man, and thy mother was not unchaste. Then she pointed to him. They said, How can we speak to one who is a child in the cradle? He said, I am the servant of God. He has given me the law and made me a prophet, and made me blessed wheresoever I be, and enjoined upon me the duty and the purity as long as I live, and dutiful to my mother, and has not made me a miserable tyrant. And peace be unto me the day I was born, and the day I die, and the day I am raised alive. That is Asa, son of Maryam, a statement of truth concerning which they doubt. It is not for God to take a son. Glory be unto him. When he decrees a thing, he but says to it, Be thou, and it is. And God is my Lord and your Lord. So serve him. This is the straight path. And the parties among them differed. Woe to those who are indifferent to warning from the spectacle of a tremendous day. How they hear and how they see on the day they come to us. But the wrongdoers are this day in obvious error. And warn thou them of the day of regret when the matter is concluded. But they are in heedlessness and they do not believe. We inherit the earth and such as are thereon, and to us are they returned. And remember thou in the law Ibrahim, he was a man of truth, a prophet, when he said to his father, O my father, why servest thou what hears not, nor sees, nor can in anything avail thee? O my father, there has come to me knowledge that has not come to thee, so follow thou me, I will lead thee to an even path. O my father, serve thou not the shaitan, the shaitan is to the Almighty defiant. O my father, I fear lest there afflict thee a punishment from the Almighty, and thou become an ally to the shaitan. Said he, Forsakest thou my God, O Ibrahim? If thou cease not, I will stone thee, and depart thou from me a good while. He said, Peace be unto thee, I will ask forgiveness for thee of my Lord, he is gracious towards me, and I will withdraw from you and that to which you call besides God, and will call to my Lord. It may be that I will not in my call to my Lord be unhappy, so when he had withdrawn from them and what they were serving besides God, we gave him Ishaq and Yaqub, and each we made a prophet. And we gave to them from our mercy, and we made for them the tongue of truthfulness exalted. And remember thou in the law Musa, he was pure-hearted and was a messenger, a prophet. And we called to him from the right side of the mount, and brought him close in private conference. And we gave him from our mercy his brother Harun, a prophet. And remember thou in the law Ismail, he was true to the promise, and he was a messenger, a prophet. He enjoined upon his people the duty and the purity, and was acceptable in the sight of his Lord. And remember thou in the law Idris, he was a man of truth, a prophet, and we raised him to a high station. These are they to whom God showed favour among the prophets, among the progeny of Adam, and among those we carried with Nuh, and among the progeny of Ibrahim and Israel, and among those we guided and chose. When the proofs of the Almighty were recited to them, they fell down in submission and weeping. But there came after them successors who neglected the duty and followed lusts. They will meet with deception, save he who repents and believes and works righteousness. These will enter the garden 
and they will not be wronged in anything. Gardens of perpetual abode, which the Almighty has promised his servants in the unseen. His promise is to come to pass. They will hear therein no vain speech, only peace. And they will have therein provision morning and night. That is the garden which we cause those to inherit among our servants who are in prudent fear. And we come down only by command of thy Lord, unto him belongs what is at our time, and what following us, and what is in between, and thy Lord is not forgetful. Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, serve thou him, and be thou patient in his service. Knowest thou one named like him? And man says, When I am dead, will I be brought forth alive? Does not man remember that we created him before he was anything? Then, by thy Lord, will we gather them and the shaitans, then will we bring them round about hell on bended knee. Then will we extract from every sect those of them most severe towards the Almighty in disdain. Then will we best know those most worthy to be burned therein. And there is not one of you, save will arrive at it. That is upon thy Lord a determination decreed. Then will we deliver those who are in prudent fear, and leave the wrongdoers therein on bended knee. And when our clear proofs are recited to them, those who are indifferent to warning say to those who heed warning, Which of the two factions is better in station and better in assembly? But how many generations we destroyed before them were better in possessions and appearance? Say thou, Whoso is in error, the Almighty extends for him an extent. When they have seen what they are promised, whether it be the punishment or the hour, then will they know who is worse in position and weaker in force. And God increases in guidance those who follow right guidance, and the righteous deeds which endure are better in the sight of thy Lord as reward and better as recourse. Hast thou then considered him who rejects our proofs and says, I am given wealth and children, has he penetrated the unseen, or taken a pledge from the Almighty? No, indeed. We will record what he says, and extend for him the extent of punishment. And we will inherit from him what he says, and he will come to us alone. And they take gods besides God, that they might have greatness by them. No, indeed. They will deny their service and be an opponent against them. Hast thou not considered that we send the shaitans upon those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, inciting them onwards? So hasten thou not against them. We but number for them a number. The day we gather those of prudent fear to the Almighty as honoured guests and drive the evildoers into hell as a place of arrival, they will have no power of intercession save he who has taken a pledge with the Almighty. And they say, the Almighty has taken a son. You have brought forth a terrible thing. The heavens are nigh rent therefrom, and the earth split asunder, and the mountains fallen in collapse that you urge upon the Almighty a son, when it behooves not the Almighty to take a son. Every one in the heavens and the earth comes only to the Almighty as a servant. He has counted them and numbered them by number and each of them will come alone to him on the day of resurrection. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, the Almighty will appoint for them love. And we but make it easy in thy tongue that thou bear glad tidings therewith to those of prudent fear, and thou warn therewith a quarrelsome people. And how many generations destroyed we before them? 
Perceivest thou any one of them, or hearest from them a sound? Chapter 20 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Bar Ha. We sent not down upon thee the Qur'an that thou be unhappy, but as a reminder to him who fears a successive revelation from him who created the earth and the high heavens. The Almighty took his place upon the throne. To him belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth and what is between them and what is under the soil. And if thou be public in speech, he knows the secret and what is more hidden. God. There is no God save he. To him belong the most beautiful names. And has there come to thee the story of Musa, when he saw a fire, he said to his people, Stay here, I perceive a fire. Perhaps I can bring you therefrom a firebrand, or find guidance at the fire. And when he came to it, he was addressed, O Musa, I am thy Lord, remove thou thy shoes, thou art in the twice hallowed valley. And I have chosen thee, so hearken thou to instruction, I am God. There is no God save I, so serve thou me, and uphold thou the duty for my remembrance. The hour is coming, I almost hide it, that every soul should be rewarded with what it strives for. And let not divert thee from it him who believes not in it, but follows his vain desire, lest thou perish. And what is in thy right hand, O Musa? said he, it is my staff. I lean on it and beat down with it leaves for my sheep, and I have therefore other purposes. He said, Cast thou it down, O Musa. And he cast it down, and then was it a serpent moving. He said, Take thou it up, and fear thou not, we will return it to its former conduct. And draw thou thy hand into thy side, it will come forth white without evil as another proof, that we might show thee among our proofs the greater, go thou to Firaun, he has transgressed. Said he, my lord, expand thou for me my breast, and ease thou for me my affair, and loosen thou a tie from my tongue, that they might understand my speech, and appoint thou for me an assistant from my people, Harun, my brother, and strengthen thou my strength by him, and make thou him a partner in my task, that we might glorify thee much, and remember thee much. Thou dost see us, ellipsis, whereas we do not see thee, to continue. He said, Thou hast been granted thy request, O Musa, and we bestowed favour upon thee another time, when we instructed thy mother with the instruction, Hurl thou him into the chest, and hurl thou it into the water. The water will cast him upon the shore. An enemy to me and an enemy to him will take him. And I cast upon thee love from me, and that thou be wrought under my eye when thy sister approached. She said, Shall I direct thee to one who will take care of him? Then we return to thee to thy mother, that her eye might be gladdened, and she grieve not. And thou didst kill a soul, and we delivered thee from distress, but subjected thee to means of denial as a test, so thou didst tarry years among the people of Madian. Then camest thou as ordained, O Musa, and I prepared thee for myself. Go thou and thy brother, with my proofs, and flag not in my remembrance. Go to Firaun, he has transgressed, and speak to him a gentle word, that he might take heed or fear. They said, Our Lord, we fear lest he move or transgress against us. He said, Fear not, I am with you, I hear and I see. Go to him and say, We are messengers of thy Lord. Send thou the children of Israel with us, and punish thou them not. 
We have come to thee with proof from thy Lord, and peace be unto him who follows guidance. We have been instructed that the punishment is upon him who rejects and turns away. Said he, And who is your Lord, O Musa? He said, Our Lord is he who gave everything its creation, then guided. Said he, And what is the state of the former generations? He said, The knowledge thereof is with my Lord in a decree my Lord neither errs nor forgets, who made the earth for you as a bed, and inserted roads for you therein, and sent down water from the sky. And thereby have we brought forth diverse pairs of plants, eat and attend to your cattle, in that are proofs for possessors of intelligence. Therefrom did we create you, and thereto do we return you, and therefrom will we bring you forth once again. And we showed him all our proofs, but he rejected and refused. Said he, Hast thou come to turn us out of our land by thy sorcery, O Musa? Then will we bring thee sorcery the like thereof. Make thou an appointment between us and thee, which neither we nor thou shall fail to keep. An equal place. He said, Your appointment is the day of the festival, and that the people gather at midday. And Firaun turned away and made his plan. Then came he. Musa said to them, Woe to you! Invent not a lie against God, lest he eradicate you as punishment, and failed as whoso invents. And they disputed about their affair among themselves, and kept secret the confidential conversation. They said, These two sorcerers wish to turn you out of your land by their sorcery, and take away your exemplary tradition. So make your plan, then come with one accord, and he has succeeded who prevails this day. They said, O Musa, either thou shalt cast, or we shall be the first to cast. He said, Nay, you cast. And then their ropes and their staves appeared to him by their sorcery to be moving, and Musa felt fear within himself. We said, Fear thou not, thou art the higher, and cast thou what is in thy right hand, it will swallow up what they wrought. They wrought but the plan of the sorcerer, and the sorcerer will not be successful wherever he be. And the sorcerers were cast down in submission. They said, We believe in the Lord of Harun and Musa, said he. Believe you him before I give you leave? He is your chief who taught you sorcery. Then will I cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides and put you to death by stake upon the trunks of date palms, and you will know which of us is severer and more lasting in punishment. They said, We prefer thee not above what has come to us of clear evidence, and him who made us. Decide thou what thou wilt decide. Thou canst but decide the life of this world. We believe in our Lord, that he might forgive us our errors, and that to which thou didst compel us of sorcery, and God is better and more lasting. Whoso comes to his Lord as an evildoer, for him is hell. Therein will he neither die nor live. And whoso comes to him as a believer, having done deeds of righteousness, they have the high degrees gardens of perpetual abode beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein, and that is the reward of him who purifies himself. And we instructed Musa, Travel thou by night with my servants, and strike thou for them a dry path in the sea, not fearing overtaking, nor being afraid. And Firaun followed them with his forces, and there covered them of the sea what covered them. And Firaun led his people astray, and did not guide. O children of Israel, we delivered you from your enemy, 
and we made an appointment with you on the right side of the mount, and sent down upon you manna and quail. Eat of the good things that we have provided you, and transgress not therein, lest my wrath descend upon you. And he upon whom my wrath descends has fallen, and I am forgiving towards him who repents, and believes, and works righteousness, then is he rightly guided. And what made thee hasten from thy people, O Musa? Said he, they were close, following hard upon me, so I hastened to thee, my lord, that thou be pleased. He said, we have subjected thy people to means of denial in thy absence, and the Samiri led them astray, and Musa returned to his people, wrathful, grieved. He said, O my people, did not your Lord promise you a fair promise? Did the pledge seem long in coming to you, or did you wish that wrath from your Lord should descend upon you, so failed to keep your promise to me? They said, we failed not to keep our promise to thee of our own accord, but we were made to carry the burdens of the adornment of the people, so we hurled them. And thus the Samiri cast. He brought forth for them a calf as a body that load, and they said, This is your God, and the God of Musa. But he forgot. Did they then not see that it returned no word to them, nor possessed for them harm or benefit? And Harun had said to them before, O oh my people, you are but subjected to means of denial thereby, and your Lord is the Almighty, so follow me and obey my command. They said, We will not cease to be devoted to it until Musa returns to us. He said, O Harun, what prevented thee when thou sawest them going astray from following me? Hast thou then disobeyed my command? Said he, O son of my mother, seize thou me not by my beard, nor by my head. I feared lest thou say thou hast caused division among the children of Israel, and hast not regarded my word. He said, and what is thy case, O Samiri? Said he, I could see what they could not see. And I seized a handful from the wake of the messenger, and did throw it. And thus my soul enticed me. He said, Then go thou. In this life it is for thee to say outcast, and there is for thee an appointment thou canst not break. And look thou upon thy God, to which thou remainst devoted. We will burn it, then we will scatter its pieces in the sea utterly. Your God is but God, there is no God save he. He encompasses all things in knowledge. Thus do we narrate to thee some reports of what has gone before, and have given thee a remembrance from our presence. Whoso turns from it, he will bear a burden on the day of resurrection, they abiding eternally therein. And an evil load is for them on the day of resurrection, the day the trumpet is blown. And that day will we assemble the evildoers, white-eyed, whispering among themselves, You tarried only ten. We know best what they will say when their exemplars in the path will say, tarried only a day and they ask thee about the mountains say thou my lord will scatter them utterly and leave them a level plain wherein thou wilt see neither deviation nor bend that day will they follow the summoner having no deviation and the voices will be humbled for the almighty and thou wilt not hear save a whisper that day no intercession will avail save one whom the Almighty gives leave and with whose word he is pleased. He knows what is at their time and what following them, and they do not encompass it in knowledge. And faces will be humble before the living, the eternal, and he will have failed who commits injustice. 
and whoso does deeds of righteousness and is a believer, he fears neither injustice nor withholding. And thus sent we it down an Arabic recitation, and expounded therein some warnings, that they might be in prudent fear, or it relate to them a remembrance. And exalted be God, the King, the Truth, and hasten thou not with the recitation before its instruction be completed to thee, and say thou, My Lord, increase thou me in knowledge. And we enjoined upon Adam before, but he forgot, and we did not find determination in him. And when we said to the angels, Submit to Adam, then they submitted, save Iblis. He refused. We said, O Adam, this is an enemy to thee and to thy wife, so let him not turn you out of the garden that thou be distressed. It is for thee to be neither hungry nor naked therein, and that thou neither thirst therein nor suffer the heat of the sun. But the shaitan whispered to him. He said, O Adam, shall I show thee the tree of immortality and a dominion that decays not? And they ate thereof, and their shame was made manifest to them, and they began to draw over them some of the leaves of the garden, and Adam opposed his Lord, so he erred. Then his Lord chose him, and turned towards him, and guided. He said, Get you down from it all together, an enemy to one another. Then if there comes to you guidance from me, Whoso follows my guidance, he will neither go astray, nor will he be distressed. But whoso turns away from my remembrance, for him is a straitened life, and we will gather him blind on the day of resurrection. He will say, My Lord, why hast thou gathered me blind when I used to see? He will say, Thus our proofs came to thee, and thou didst forget them, so thus art thou forgotten this day. And thus do we reward him who commits excess, and believes not in the proofs of his Lord. And the punishment of the hereafter is more severe and more lasting. Does it not then guide them, how many generations we destroyed before them, amid whose dwellings they walk? In that are proofs for possessors of intelligence. And were it not for a word that went forth from thy Lord and a named term, it would have been necessary. So be thou patient over what they say, and give thou glory with the praise of thy Lord before the appearance of the sun and before its departure, and some periods of the night give thou glory and at the two ends of the day, that thou mightest be satisfied. And strain thou not thine eyes towards what enjoyment we have granted some among them to enjoy of the splendour of the life of this world, that we might subject them to means of denial thereby. And the provision of thy Lord is better and more lasting. And enjoin thou upon thy people the duty and be thou steadfast therein. We ask thee not for provision, we provide for thee, and the final outcome is for those of prudent fear. And they say, O oh, that he would but bring us a proof from his Lord! Has there not come to them clear evidence of what is in the former writings? And had we destroyed them by a punishment before it, they would have said, our Lord, O oh, that thou hadst but sent to us a messenger, so we might have followed thy proofs before we were humbled and disgraced. Say thou, all are waiting, so wait, you will come to know who are the companions of the even path, and who is rightly guided. <laughs>